Hey, what's going on? You're in the secret level here with Gerns, and today I got a video on how to build your own AFK Hell Farm, uh, or Underworld Farm, uh, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, I just like calling it the Hell Farm because it's easier to say. <laughs> so anyway, um, there are several benefits to this farm, guys, uh, depending on your needs. So uh, with that said, we'll get to the main benefits of the farm, as well as how I have mine set up, and of course the different loot that you can expect as well, right? Uh, so here we go. So the main benefits of the farm guys are number one being able to grab these guide voodoo dolls nice and easily. Uh, so just in case for those that don't know, the guide voodoo doll once thrown in lava summons the wall of flesh. Uh, so I don't know about you guys, but I've had to go back and farm the wall of flesh numerous times, uh, even into late hard mode to grab more of those accessories that it drops, uh, you know, for different builds and so forth. So it's very handy to be able to farm these things uh, AFK. They're pretty annoying to farm manually when you need them. Uh, at least I think so. <laughs> so uh, the next one here is the Fire Feather, which is a rare drop from those Red Devils, and it is used to make the Flame Wings, uh, which is a pretty cool set of wings if you want those. Uh, so yeah, the next one here is the Living Fire Blocks, uh, which are a pretty cool decorative item. I use them in several places actually, and uh, you can change them to different colors too, so that's pretty cool. And uh, the last thing here is the Plumber's Hat, uh, which is a rare drop off the Fire Imps. So if you like collecting the different vanity items, like me, <laughs> then that's great. Uh, plus I'm a pretty big Super Mario fan too, so if you are as well, then you might want this. <laughs> so anyway, that being said, there are other items that you get as well, guys, but these are just the main benefits, I think. Uh, so we'll get to the farm now and how I have it set up. So here we are at the farm guys, and uh, it's uh, more or less a fairly simple setup. Uh, so if we take a look at my map here, you can see that I've hollowed out a decent sized area in the underworld here. And uh, it really didn't take too long because it was mostly lava. Um, so yeah, just grab a couple obsidian uh, potions guys and pop them, and uh, yeah, just jump in there. <laughs> so um, I also smoothed out a bit, a bit of the uh, ceiling here guys, also just because I noticed that some monsters, like slimes, were spawning up there and giving me problems. Um, so, but if you're not playing an expert, I don't think you'll have to really worry about that, and uh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so also here, I have some ash uh, pathways here, and that's so the monsters can spawn. Uh, and those are about, uh, as far as the dimensions go from my character here, uh, to like the sides here and here are about 84 to 90 blocks of space, something like that. Um, and uh, the bottom uh, doesn't really matter because it's all lava anyways, and uh, the ceiling, um, I'm not really sure, I don't think it matters too much either. Uh, I just kind of smoothed it out so that there was no um, platforms basically for anything to spawn on. Um, anyway, so yeah, so if we look at my farm here, uh, you can see that it's basically like floating in the air. And the reason for that is because I'm playing on expert mode and these uh, lava slimes down here in expert mode, when they die, uh, as you'll see with this one here, uh, yeah, they drop lava like that. Um, so basically if I built this thing just kind of like a regular pyramid trap on the ground and you know filled in the holes or just built the ground right on top of the lava or something uh, those slimes would get into here eventually fill it up with lava destroy all the loot and the first go uh, guide voodoo doll that falls in there would summon the wall of flesh and I would die uh, assuming it was AFK um, so yeah anyway that wouldn't work <laughs> so but then again guys if you are not playing on expert mode that uh, I'm pretty positive that does not happen on expert mode, like they just die, no lava spawns. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm positive about that. Um, so, so yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, kind of building it floating in the air. You can kind of just build the same structure here, except uh, just kind of like on the ground as per normal and just make sure the ground is at the bottom of your, uh, like, you know, um, right on top of the lava basically. So that nothing can spawn underneath you is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so anyway that being said um, So the uh, little trap area up here that I have uh, Has some spiky ball traps and I have some spear traps up here a couple rows like kind of in the middle there And that's just to help kill these uh, red devils because they are a bit tanky um, So they take a little bit to uh, to die especially because you can't have lava in here uh, So anyway um, that being said uh, just in case for those that don't know nothing here takes damage from lava uh, So it'd be pointless to put lava in your trap um, so yeah, anyway, uh, this bottom section down here, uh, this is for, as you just saw, a fire imp, uh, that's to kill them, 
they always spawn in this area here. Uh, now, as, I'll turn on my ruler just in case, because I kind of had to fiddle around with this for a bit. Um, but this platform, as you can see down here, uh, I have a couple rows of platforms that go down to the lava, basically. And that's just so that these slimes obviously can get up here and die. Uh, otherwise, they'd just be kind of bouncing around down there. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, the platforms here, uh, the first one is 18, or I guess 17 blocks of space away from where I'm standing. Um... And I noticed that those fire imps only spawn within a certain distance of me. Like, for example, they will never spawn over here or over here. Never have I seen one spawn there, as long as I'm standing in the middle here. Um, so just in case, I guess, uh, this top one is about, uh, you know, 40, 41 blocks of space. And this bottom one, 35, 34. Uh, so yeah, uh, so they obviously can't spawn with uh, farther away than... I guess 34 blocks of space or even it looks like 18 or 17 something like that uh, so that being said if you uh, design it like this and make sure the spacing is you know close to what mine is then the fire imps should only spawn either here or right up here right at the top for some reason they never spawn down here um, like I was prepared to put more spear traps all along here just in case they did uh, but I have never seen one spawn here ever they always spawn either right here um, or right on the corners up here for whatever reason all right um, so anyway that being said um, other than that there's nothing else really complicated about this I mean uh, just put your conveyor belt down there so all the loot rolls towards you obviously and uh, I'll turn the ruler off and turn the wiring on just real quick um, so yeah these uh, different rows of spear traps here are separately connected to three different one second timers as well as these ones here and I just connected this one to uh, the same one as this one just because I didn't want to add a fourth one in there you guys can if you want and you can add more too if you want really it's up to you or less um, so yeah uh, now oh those bone serpents thank you for reminding me um, so this second platform down here and uh, I'll turn the wiring off real quick and just the ruler um, as you can see he just barely didn't make it and that's kind of what I want so every now and then he will get enough momentum to make it to the second platform down here which is about um, I guess uh, eight blocks of space away from where I'm standing um, so yeah you can see he just barely doesn't make it but eventually he will make it and you don't really have to do that but the reason why I chose to do that is so just in case um, you know some of you guys might be a little bit less geared um, that way the bone serpent doesn't get up to you too often and hit you you know very very often uh, so yeah the regeneration things that I put in here like this little pool of honey this uh, heart lamp as well as these campfires oh there used to be a campfire over there okay I guess I'm gonna have to move them somewhere else um, I guess over here so anyway um, yeah um, so there he finally got up there and he hit me right so that will happen and I just designed it like that so that it doesn't happen very frequently. If there was too many platforms up there, he would get up there every time and hit you uh, on a more consistent basis. And if you're a little bit less geared, that might pose a problem. It might not, I don't know. So you might not even need to do that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's up to you. Um, so just real quick, for those who are wondering what this is that I'm standing in here, it's basically a bubble of honey that I can walk through very conveniently, nice and awesome like that. Uh, so these bubble blocks, you buy them from the party girl they're a fairly new addition to the game uh, so very convenient for making these little honey pools in uh, uh, yeah honey um, regenerates your health obviously as as well as the heart lamp and the campfire uh, so but it's just a much more convenient way to set up the little honey pool all you have to do is have one little block surrounded by some bubble block and it will just float there and you can stand in it because you can pass through the bubble block um, yeah so no need to build like a pool and then go around it or something inconvenient like that. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, other than that, I built my area here out of uh, temple brick. So that way there's a jungle biome also here, increasing the spawn rate, as well as I have a water kettle there for the same thing, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it as far as the setup goes. And uh, I made the pyramid, just a small note here, as small as possible, just to make sure that those fire imps can't spawn inside of here and limit their spawning area basically just down to here and these corners here 
Um, so, alright, so let's look in the chest here. Um, so I also keep battle potions there, again, for the spawn rate. And obsidian potions, because, uh, as you can see, all this lava is falling down there, and will eventually... Uh, it will take quite a while, but it will eventually cause this lava lake here to increase in size up to here. Uh, so when that does happen, I just plan on hollowing out a bit more of these blocks to shrink it down, and eventually, once all of these blocks run out, um, what I have in my piggy bank is the bottomless water bucket, and I will just pour down a whole ton of water, mine up the obsidian, and any uh, remaining water will just evaporate because I'm in the underworld, and that will lower the lava, right? So yeah, um, now in this chest is the loot. So obviously you're going to get a whole ton of voodoo do uh, guide dolls, uh, as you can see. Um, as well though, you'll get uh, these magma stones, uh, so a great, great uh, accessory to get, um, as well as the fire feather, like I mentioned, and the plumber's hat, uh, like I mentioned before too, uh, and as well as tons of living fire blocks. Um, so yeah, I mean that's like the main gear too. You'll get some other gear too, like some uh, the, this unholy trident, uh, which is not bad. You get those that from the red devils, uh, the demon scythe. I think that's an older, like a pre-hard mode weapon and this obsidian rose uh, and also another pretty cool accessory too reduces damage from touching lava so um, yeah uh, anyway um, you also get I guess the KO cannon but I think that drops in multiple areas just very rarely uh, and also of course jungle keys because it's also technically a jungle biome uh, but that's uh, not important because of my super farm <laughs> so anyway guys uh, that's pretty much as far as the setup and the loot goes Alright guys, so that's how you build your own AFK underworld farm. Uh, so yeah, pretty sweet farm to have guys. I know it's come in handy for me many, many times. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, just a reminder guys, if you're not playing on expert mode, then you don't have to worry about those slimes dropping lava. Uh, so you could just build more or less that same farm setup, uh, I guess without the bottom area trap part. Um, just like a, you know, typical pyramid trap. Uh, except sitting on the ground and just have the ground, I guess, flat on the lava so nothing can spawn below you, right? Uh, so, but if you are playing on expert mode like me, guys, you might want to build it similar to that or maybe like hanging from the ceiling or something because, uh, yeah, those lava slimes will cause you an issue. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, guys, that's the video and uh, I hope it helps. So be sure to leave a like if it did. That way I know I'm helping some people out and that always feels good, all right? <laughs> so also you can subscribe here to the secret level and join me, Gerns. Because uh, there's always more videos like this coming out, and I have a ton more videos too that you'll probably want to check out. Alright, so uh, that's it guys. This is Gerns exiting the secret level. Take it easy.